I believe that um, from the beginning when our migrants and our immigrants began to come into Des Moines, especially our Spanish-speaking people, they came with a lot of hope for a better life and a, uh, a future that would be prosperous for them and their families. So I think that uh, we have a lot of people here in this community, Spanish speaking, that are as affluent and could handle anything that you would throw in front of them. I have a lot, of, a lot of respect for all of our people that have come from other lands here. It hurts me to think that we are here in the 21st century and we are facing racial bias, prejudice. What is that? You know, we are all children of God. We are all brothers and sisters. I don't care what your hair looks like, your eyes or your skin. And right now I'm, I'm reliving and I just think of Mother Davis who was my mentor and Edna Griffin and Catherine Williams. These were black American women in this community that helped me as a Hispanic woman divorce with three girls to find a way and be respectful about my life, you know, and it's tragic for me. It's a real sadness. So sometimes if I sound like I'm blowing the horn too loud, it's because inside my heart and my soul, I don't want us going back. I want us going forward. You know, we need to go forward. And I can remember when me and Chavo, when we were kids, we were figured, we were relegated to the back of the bus. And uh, there was taverns that wouldn't serve us. And uh, there was restaurants that we couldn't eat in and uh, jobs were scarce and we had to go to work in foundries or either on the tracks on a section gang and there's no more section gang because uh, technology took over that and working in civil rights and during the civil rights period when uh, martin luther king was leading uh, uh, most of the minorities to make things better Unfortunately, a lot of things got better during his lifetime, but uh, they petered out now and we're going back backwards as far as affirmative action and uh, civil rights in general. Well, I think the fact that we moved to Devonport and we faced so much prejudice and discrimination that uh, as a young person, I just, to myself, I swore, well, you know, I, it's got to be better than this. And if I get a chance, I'm going to make it better. I'll never forget in high school, the counselor, I, I was, you know, they sit down and talk to you. What are you going to take? What kind of courses is this and this and that? And I wanted to take journalism. And he talked to me and he made me uh, convinced me that I should take uh, auto mechanics. So there was, even in education, there was discrimination, prejudice. Well, I think the importance of what we're doing is uh, that the majority community will now recognize that we didn't come just yesterday. We've been here for over 100 years and that we have contributed to the good and the welfare of the state of Iowa uh, nationally and in our community. Uh, for an example, nationally, uh, right now we're witnessing the Supreme Court uh, justice. Well, way back in 1986, uh, a group that belonged to League of United Latin American Citizens, our council went to Washington, D.C., and we protested, and I feel like LULAC made a difference because Bork was not uh, approved. Well, I think like in all groups, uh, we have our strong leaders and they see um, what is needed in the community and they have a passion for that need and to fill that need and they go ahead and they're loyal, uh, they're hard workers. We're known for being very hard workers and seeing that a project is completed. Representation matters and in spaces like here, the Iowa Historical Museum, if you walk or roll around the, the location, um, you don't see any representation of Latinx individuals. And that's why I think it's so important to recognize um, leaders here in the state of Iowa and anywhere, honestly, because young individuals need to see themselves represented. And if they come to these places and they don't see themselves, 
they're not gonna be able to be inspired and empowered to be like them or even better. Growing up, I didn't really see people that looked like me in the history books, in, higher, in positions of power, and it was really hard to see myself in, in those spaces and in, in higher positions because I didn't see anyone that looked like me. And I feel like students and, and youth that get to see someone who, who looks like them represented is life-changing. You, you get to see how people like you can do it and, and you become empowered and, and see that it, it can be done. The Iowa Latinx Youth Leadership Award to me means that everything was worth it. All the sacrifices that my parents did to bring me to this country have been worth it. All the times that my parents were working at a meatpacking plant or in construction work have been worth it. The mentors that I had, the people that lifted me as I climbed, they helped me reach everything that I was able to do and more. And it, it has all been worth it. Living in Iowa has been worth it. And this award is just that piece, that reminder that Everything that I've done up to this point has been because of the individuals that have carved the path for me to be where I am today. And it is, honestly, this award is for them. I think that it's very important for the people of Iowa to learn more about the Hispanics that live in the state, for one thing. When I was in the service, I would say I was from Iowa. A lot of people didn't know what, where I come from. <laughs> or the, the biggest change that I have seen is that there's more, through education, there's more people getting out of the lower rungs of the ladder and going into a profession such as doctors and lawyers, professionals, which I didn't see when I was growing up. I think it would uh, be that through, through the life experience that they live in, that they gotta look forward to a better future. And that would bring out the leadership. Go ahead and tell your children, tell your grandchildren, who was your grandpa, who was your grandma, who was my friend, who was, they work for the people. That's what the mission in this world was to help each other, give each other's hands and go ahead and keep being in a better world. We cannot keep making walls with your neighbors. We cannot be not talking to your neighbor because I don't like the ways of being, the ways of doing things. We're different. We just have to accept each other and work together to build a better world. On behalf of my husband, this is Walter Morrow, my husband. Warren's very, very proud of Warren, like I am, both of us. Y desde entonces trabajó y trabajó para la juventud y para dejar un Iowa mejor, un Estados Unidos mejor, un país mejor, un mundo mejor. Y yo siempre voy a estar agradecida del cielo, de Dios, que nos dio un hijo privilegio en nuestra manera de pensar. Muchas gracias. He lived by the mantra of one of our shared heroes, Roberto Clemente, who said, If you have an opportunity to make things better, and you don't, then you are wasting your time on this earth. Warren lived that, and without trying, he continues to inspire that in others especially among those he most loved. Thank you again for honoring his life and keeping his legacy alive for future generations. And he always told me, just be your best and, and do something for others that will only create goodness. He would be thrilled to have and honored to be awarded this award. And I know um, he, thought of Iowa as his family. And he thinks of everybody that lives here, comes here, even to visit. He wants to, wanted to take care of people. 
He wanted to show them the goodness of the people in the state, what they strive, they work hard to do, and how they help one another. And I think that is something that bring, it didn't matter what race, color, ethnicity, gender, anything. People are people, and people are human beings, and they're all one kind, and we should love one another. Um, he always said, keep the light, sh keep your light shining. And that's what the Latino Affairs Organization does. It keeps your light shining, and that'll make others come up to that light.